Hello everyone, good morning. This is Siva from Soundbox Irrigation Design Services. So today we are going to discuss about sprinkler risers. So uh, I will explain you why is this important and why it is important to raise the sprinklers to the up to the level of grade or even above the level of grade. So hope you will enjoy this topic. If you have any doubt, you can ask me anytime. So and I will let's, let get me get into the topic. So before that, let me change to the laser pointer. Yeah. So what is tracer on their function? So as we know this, this is a sprinkler head and this is the letter line. So this you can see this we have raised the uh, head from the letter line. So why we do that? If we have not installed this riser line, so it will it will be the sprinkler head will be buried into the uh, land. So what we need to do that we need to raise the uh, sprinkler head up to the level of grade. So what we so this is pop up. It will be come down once the system is will be set up. So we need to match this uh, sprinkler head up to the level of grade. Otherwise, the sprinkler will be buried into the land, and it will cause some. It will even may cause some disruption to the uh, pop up rising. So the short section of tube that attaches a sprinkler to the let underground letter pipe is called a uh, riser. The function is not only just uh, attaching the uh, uh, attaching the sprinkler head to the letter, but it's used to raise the head up to the level of grid or sometimes even above the grid. So I will explain this in a few more seconds. And one more thing is, uh, it should be flexible enough to bear the stress from cone. But actually, this riser is not uh, flexible. Why? I will explain that. I will explain the different types of. Uh, so risers available uh, in the irrigation industry so the purpose of uh, riser should be the it should be it should raise the sprinkler head at, at, at the same time it should be flexible enough to bear the stress from the ground so what is stress from the ground i will explain that in the next slide so this is the first one uh, sprinkler simple pipe riser we have seen this in the previous picture so you can see this so some arrow has been indicated in this which means we can cut according to our need so if we need up to do this length we can cut this extra part so if we need full length we can use the full length full we can use the full linear length otherwise we can cut according to our requirement so it is mostly used in residential system and it is very cost effective it doesn't uh, consume a lot of cost so most of the residential projects are uh, utilizing this uh, simple pipe riser it sometimes it's also called as pipe nipples why in the sense uh, a small pot section of pipe in plumbing industry is always referred to as a nipple. So we, we know that we know these things. So we connect this to the lateral, and we connect the uh, head to the uh, this top of the nipple. So for the, the material is usually poly material because if you are using PVC material in the sense, so I will show you PVC rigid material in the sense. I I'm going to explain this. If if this riser is made up of pvc in this sense so it is very strong and not flexible so it is little bit flexible uh, it is little bit flexible comparing to the uh, pvc rigid pipe so what we need to do that so if we are installing the if if assume that if you are installing a pvc rigid pipe here so when when a stress occur from the top of the ground uh, stress may be due to food traffic or maybe we run mover to maintain the lawns so stress may be in the any form so if we apply the stress from the uh, upper side in the above the ground the stress ultimately will pass through the uh, sprinkler head and it should be flexible to uh, bear the stress otherwise the sprinkler head will broken so if it absorbs the uh, if it, it it absorbs the more stress the first one will break here is this polymer if, if if it is made up of uh, PVC rigid pipe then obviously it will not break it. it will damage the either sprinkler head or the lateral pipe so it will it will cost us a lot of uh, dollars so we we obviously don't want that so what we need we if any stress occur from the top then the first one should be broken here is this one otherwise this uh, will cost us a lot so I hope you understand this and some disadvantages in the sprinkler and uh, the nipple says uh it cannot be moved like if you if you install this uh nipples in this 
in this uh, lateral line we cannot uh, shift the uh, sprinkler head from the own look from the near the areas or in the in the left or right or forward or backward we cannot move the sprinkler head it, once it is uh, installed in a particular location it will be right there always so we cannot move this so but for a residential application this uh, nipple is a very very effective method and it's a cost a cost effective and it will the durability is a little bit lower comparing to the other types of uh, sprinklerizers and so i have explained this slide uh, i hope you have understood this and if you have not you can ask me so next thing is flexible arm swing riser so we sometimes call this as a swing joint so we can see this instead of uh, attaching the nipples we are attaching the uh, swing riser here so it is flexible more flexible enough to bear the stress so for example this is made up of poly material and ls e double ls it is called double ls so you can uh, swing this according to our convenience you can uh, move to this direction laterally or upward and downward or uh, forward and backward so this is the uh, effect of uh, useful of uh, um, it will bear the lot of uh, stress from the outside for example if if a lorry drive in along the driven along the uh, this side if the low the weight of the lorry is very high right so once the lorry has rolled on this uh, sprinkler head it will automatically come down because this is flexible and to uh, pull this down and once the once the lorry has paused it will come up again because this will it will release the stress so this is how the uh this is the useful of uh, flexible arm swing riser so it it, it can be used in uh, a residential to light commercial project so and we should not use this flexible force in the uh three by four inch inlet like our rotors always have three uh, uh three by four inch inlet so it should be used uh, with sprays which has off inch inlet so we know this this is flexible hose with an l else on both sides so as i said this don't use this flexible arm swing rises with sprinklers that have a three by four inch inlet so usually rotors have the three by four inch inlet so uh, this is a clear picture of uh of flexible arm swing rises and this is rigid arm the main difference between the flexible uh, flexible and rigid arm is this is made up of uh scheduled at pvc okay so it should be uh installed with the rotors which has three by four inch inlet because it has to bear the lot of pressure we know uh rotor is usually uh, operates at the 50 psi so we we this uh, uh nipple should be should be uh able to bear up to 50 ps so that uh, we need to use a schedule 80 pvc nipple uh, we, we we may not be we, uh flexible pipe is not uh flexible not uh suitable here because flexible pipe may not be able to uh with uh withhold the pressure of 50 psi and one more, one more thing is the quadruple swing riser. The quadruple swing risers in the means we have uh, four L's here. Quad, quad means four, right? Uh, the quadruple swing riser allows the sprinkler head to move in any direction. So it, we can move laterally or longitudinally. Any in any direction we can move this. Uh, this is one of the advantage of the uh, uh, arms with swing riser or swing joint. You can move that side or you can move this side. Or you can move this side or you can move this side according to our control. So it is not fixed in a single place. So that's the advantage of swing riser. It, 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 this advantage is both with the flexible and the uh, rigid arm swing riser. So I uh, say so it, it can be adjusted up angle and down any direction. It can swing from side to side. So uh, this is the um, zooming picture of L. So uh, for actually 4L is needed to make quadruple swing riser. Okay. So next slide. This is one more thing is flexible riser. This is also one of the type of uh, risers which is, will be useful for uh, attaching the sprinkler uh, in in different locations. So it is very durable and very cost effective. We cannot use this in rotors. We, we only can use this in off inch inlet spray heads. Okay, it cannot withstand high high pressure. As I said earlier, it can it can it can only withstand the low pressures only. It can withstand the pressure of rotors. So it is very limited one we only we can be able to use only in uh, spray heads of which which has off inch inlet and one more thing is shrub riser so this is the final thing um shrub riser is useful to it is usually two to two inch to three inch to two feet to three feet 
we should install this above the ground because uh, some kind of plants like shrubs has which has an height of two to five feet if we are installing the uh, if we install the uh, sprinkler heads in the ground so obviously the uh, the throw will be affected by the uh, nearby plants okay so we need to install this above the plants over the plants so that it will distribute the water evenly throughout the targeted area so if we install the um, heads below the in, in the ground so obviously the uh, throw will be disturbed by the plants plant uh, canopies so we need to install this in the top of the uh, heads so we can install the rotor here or sprays here so it will be good enough to uh, throw the water to the uh, required areas so hope you have understood something about this topic so uh, thank you for today joining us so we are soundbox irrigation design services bye bye mm -hmm.